home today. It is an absolutely gorgeous day out. Got a lot of stuff to do. I gotta do a full service on the truck. Fuel filter, oil filter, air filter, uh, transmission fluid, or transmission filter. There'll also be a video on the internal transmission filter I'm gonna try to make today. Cause it is way over, it needs to be changed. But first, before I even get started, I'm pulling the grill out. And I'm gonna try to get in here to where I can see the air conditioning condenser. And I bought some of the uh, condenser cleaner for like home AC units. And I'm going to spray all that stuff out and try to try to open it up in there a little bit. The first thing I'm gonna do is all these little plastic push-in uh, push clips. I don't really know the technical term for what they're called, but I'm gonna try to get in here on these and pop them all out. And I use these little nylon pry tools. And once you once you pull it up, you shouldn't have to pull it all the way out. But sometimes they just come apart. But and just pop those out. Now this piece right here, the trim over here, it can be kind of aggravating to get in and out. But if you've never taken it off before, right here there's going to be a piece of double-sided tape that's going to hold it down so and right down the side here. So that can be challenging if it's never been taken off before. So that's got all those. Take all the clips here around and put them in a safe place on the back of the truck. And I'm also going to pick this up, take it with me also. Thing is, there's four, I think it's four. One, two, three, four 10 millimeter bolts, and we'll take the grill shell out, the grill out. Next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a hold of the grill and I'm going to gently yank the hell out of it. Just like that. This side's out. This side doesn't wanna come out. That one and that one doesn't wanna come out. But it did. That's all there is to this. All right, I want to show you guys what 300,000 miles of bugs and debris will do. Y'all see all this where it's turned white? That's because something has hit the hit this. This is the air conditioning condenser. This is the first core that it goes through as it comes to the grill, the cool air to cool the, cool the truck down. And for one, it's nasty. And for two, I would say 40% of those fins are crimped off and that being true I mean there's really nothing I can do for it except for to clean it out but that's not good I'm gonna have heat issues until until I replace this but if you look if you can see right up in there how gunky and dirty and nasty that is what I'm gonna do today is going to help it's not gonna fix my issue Luckily, thank goodness, I don't have an issue yet, but it's coming. There is an issue on its way. So, anyway, I didn't really want to see that, but. And this little grill right here, you know, a lot of people don't really see the significance of why they need them. But, and shame on GM for not putting that in there from the factory. You know, I, I've been a Chevy man ever since I could walk. 
but I'm really, they're making it hard for me. I mean, stuff like this, they put the engine in the wrong end of the Corvette. If you look down here at this, if you can see this, I don't know if you can or not, what I'm trying to show you is right here in front of this transmission cooler, how beat up it is. That is from before, when I, before I put this grill in. It's taken some damage since I put the grill in, but it took a lot of damage before I got the grill in. These here are the transmission cooler lines that they say will rub and get a hole in them. And I'm looking, that is touching, that shouldn't be touching. So I'm gonna take a closer look at that also. If I feel like it's something I need to address, I will. But why did they do that? Um, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, watch for these clips too. If they didn't come out when I had to snatch it out of there, I'll need to get it out and place it back on the grill so it'll go back in properly when I go to put it back on. You guys can see inside of this, that is filthy. I mean, just you can see the dust rolling off of it. So I think we're gonna do a lot of good with what we're doing today. Now I've been messing with the transmission cooler lines and I sprayed some brake parts cleaner through the air conditioned condenser. And I know that's probably not one of the best things to spray on it, but that's what I did. And I'm just sitting here looking at it, taking a break. And you can see how bad a shape those fins are in. So I'm thinking eventually I'll be replacing that AC condenser. Even though the AC still cools good, everything's still working good, I'm just noticing it's not, the engine temperature is not staying as cool. Now this is a CRC brand foaming coil cleaner. I got it off Amazon. I ordered it while I was out on the road. It was here when I got here. And uh, I did get three cans of it, and I'm gonna try to use them all. Um, I've always liked the CRC brand and other stuff, so I was hoping that that would be good, good on this too. I blew off as much of the crud as I could, like the bugs and stuff, but there are still some on here. Hopefully they'll come out with water. It would be best if I could get behind it and blow through it backwards, you know, blow it back this way but I just don't see how I'll be able to do that. Not without taking everything apart. I'm not opposed to that. I don't have time for that right now. So if this helps some, if I'm gonna take it all apart, I'd rather just replace the condition. I don't know how much they offer this truck, but it can't be that much. So, kind of hard to really get to all of it also. Trying to get what I can of the charge air cooler. spray it on this right here just to kind of get an idea of what it's doing inside but I can tell just from spraying it on these bars right here that it's breaking that crap up and just dirt running off of it actually it's mostly pollen but... we'll see how this works. I should have taken this bottom drill out too, but I didn't. Didn't really think anything about it. So there's one can down. I'm going to let it set for about 10 minutes and we'll come back and wash it out. Now I'm not trying to bend those fins any worse than what they already are, so I'm not going to hit it just horribly hard with the water. I just want to spray the dirt out so it can get out. 
That's why I would never, ever, ever use a pressure washer for something like this. drying when it gets finished drying I'll spray it down again and if you want to see that's all the soap that came out and it was just nasty rolling off the truck I imagine it was cleaning everything else as it was coming off the truck so I think we're doing some good this is the last can of the CRC foaming cleaner that I have and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it one more time this thing looks so so much better than what it did but like I say, I don't want to do this. I'm going to try to start doing it about once a year. I'm going to go ahead and spray it again. So now we're going to sit for another 20 minutes and um, come back and spray this off. It's pretty self-explanatory as far as lining up. Like I say, you just put it up there and wiggle it around. It'll pop into place. There is one alignment right here. And just making sure that the bolts look like they're gonna line up making sure that these pins look like they're gonna go back into their slots right. Then, just pop it in. About that simple. You can look and see this side went, the other side didn't, but if you see a piece that's still bowed out, just pop it and the clip should pop right in. Don't ever force it though. This, it may look like I'm being pretty rough with it, but I'm not. Then we'll need the four bolts that go across the top of here. I'll go get that now. This is the next piece. And it basically just sits right down in there. Falls right back like it's supposed to be. No tools really required putting these back together. Just line the holes up and push them in. That's about all there is to this as far as cleaning out the radiator. And I really believe it's gonna make a huge difference in how cool it runs after seeing all that junk come out of there like it did. This piece right here can be annoying, but it's not really that bad it is. It definitely can be annoying though. There, fell right back into place. I really think that's gonna open this thing up and make it breathe better because there was some nasty, nasty gunk was running out of it, especially that first time. So uh, I know it's gonna help a lot. And maybe I got another, hopefully at that half million mile mark, I'll replace that. Uh, AC condenser. I have a lot of people ask me about the mileage on the truck. It is at 376 
376,700, I think. But it's definitely, it's 376 and some change. Uh, so that 400,000 mark's coming right on up. And that's another reason I'm trying to do the things that I'm doing to it. Since I've been working on this today, I've changed the fuel filter, oil filter, air filter, um, spent on transmission fluid filter, and all that stuff. While I've been doing this, I'll, I took this off, sprayed it down, went to work, came back, and washed it out, let it dry, came back. So I've had plenty of breaks in between doing this. If you guys have not already checked your transmission lines, the bottom passenger side corner coming off the oil filter that's right behind this grill right here, go ahead and give that a, you know, go ahead and check that out. Um, I don't, that, that's a miracle that they hadn't already rubbed a hole in them, and I will, I'll either have it in this video, or most likely I'll make it into another video all by itself, just because I feel like it's pretty important, and that'll draw attention to that for anyone who is looking for that. So it probably won't be in this video, although some, some might be. This thing here is called a form, form of funnel, uh, as far as changing your oil, getting under that oil filter to catch the oil. I've had people say use aluminum foil, sheet metal, all kinds of different things that are all great ideas. But I like something I can reuse, something I'm not going to use one time and throw away. I like something that if something falls on it and it gets just wrinkled and wadded up, you know, I can just straighten it right back out. I did use this today, and you can take one of these hand wipes or you can take just a regular rag. Wipe it off both sides and it's clean. Then I throw it in my toolbox. And it gets beat to death until the next time I change oil, change oil. I've used it on three services so far, and I like it. It's worth the money for me, and if this one, I don't see how it could wear out. But if it does come up missing or I lose it or something, I'll definitely be buying another one. But anyway, I'll leave links to this and the cleaner. Anything I can think of that might help you guys out in the description if you, if you want to check them out. And uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope this does help you out, and I will see you in the next video. Now I just want to show this. If you see the ECT, that is my engine coolant temperature. I have just topped out Elizabethtown Hill up here in Kentucky with a, a 38 foot solitude fifth wheel on. And my engine coolant is 204. It is 80 degrees outside. Before I did the radiator flush, I was running 198 and more empty running down the road. I was hitting 208, 212 with a load on, even a small load. So it has made a massive difference in the temperature of my truck.